So to start off this video, I just wanted to mention the Deathclaw design t-shirt, etc. This is a t-shirt I showed you guys a little while ago. I didn't really advertise it all that much. I'm actually going to be taking this down in three days on November 12th. I think it's had this kind of good run, and I'm going to lock it away in the vault to never be seen again. So if you guys never picked up a pair of this, you can get it on a t-shirt, a hoodie, a sticker, which are actually really cheap, or even something like a mug if you want that. I will have links down below as to where you can get it. It's only like 20 bucks for the t-shirt and various other prices for the other things. But yeah, so it'll be dead. You'll probably hear me talk about it too more times over the next two days, but then it will be gone. What's up everybody? We are featuring another update to Fallout Miami. This is a mod aiming to add in Miami, the world space, as well as some new enemies, NPCs, weapons, armors, the whole nine yards. This is a pretty big mod. It's one of the big overhaul mods for Fallout 4. And to start this update video off, we actually do have news that they are recruiting people to work on this mod with them. So specifically, they do mention they're looking for level designers, concept artists, 3D artists, texture artists, scripters, and programmers, and then finally animators and and writers. So if you do feature any of those skills, I will have links down below to various social media platforms where you can get into contact to them, as well as the actual application form that I again will have linked down below. But with all that being said, let's actually take a look at what progress has been made over the past month. I of course did feature this mod almost a month ago exactly, and they have been posting consistent updates on a monthly basis, which is really cool to see. I like that. It's like a good amount of time to keep us hyped, but not let it die off too quickly. So I think so they kind of mentioned that they are keeping some things secret. They want things to be kind of a surprise or or new when you actually experience this mod. So largely what we're seeing updates in now is things that we've already seen in kind of earlier stages and we're just seeing further updates on those same iterations. But there still probably is a lot of other things going on behind the scenes that we're just not getting any look at. But to totally support it, we're getting enough content again to keep us interested, but not to spoil the whole mod itself. So kicking things off, we are seeing further updates to the Uzi. The last time I showed you guys this, it didn't have nearly as much detail as we do see here. It's looking really cool. This of course is going to be a pretty big weapon in this game. I imagine it's going to be one of the common weapons you do see with this new world space added in. If you guys don't know, one of the factions, the Cubanos, is probably going to be using this as they're kind of meant to be a mafioso type or a mobster of sorts, which obviously the Uzi fits really well with that persona. So then they mentioned in the last update, we saw a lot of the sea ghouls that are kind of the ghouls roaming around the beach in some beach attire. Now we're actually seeing the concept art behind some of this beach attire that we'll probably get with this final mod. So again, we've seen this a lot on the ghouls. I imagine at least some of this will make its way over to actual outfits that you can put on your player character, and I'll probably see on some various other NPCs. All around looking really cool. I like this kind of beach attire. It's very different. It's not something we've really seen in a Fallout game before, except through modding. And I think little things like this are going to do a really good job at establishing the setting we do find ourselves in. So this one's really exciting. We have some more images of the level design. This, of course, is being done by Mika999. I believe this is the guy that actually kind of started this entire project. As you can see, it looks phenomenal. I've always said that about this. The level design and really just the placement of a lot of these different props around the world space just make this look really cool and immersive someplace you want to explore. But also we do find out here that a new work in progress weather mod of sorts or just new work in progress weathers are going to be done for this mod by Magna Club. Magna Club is of course the guy that did make vivid weathers for Fallout 4 and Skyrim. Arguably one of the most popular mods for both of those games. And we do have a bunch of screenshots of those different weathers in action. Of course this one is just kind of a standard rain screenshot. But then we also have these kind of fog or dense school fog things. You see a few characters in the fog there as well as it is really thick. It almost looks like a dust storm of sorts. And we do have another image of that with it being a bit darker. This is something that's really cool and exciting. It's something I again haven't really considered, but actually having distinctive weather types to go along with this new setting is really going to define it in our brains. It's going to make this feel like a true experience that differs from vanilla Fallout 4. And then finally, we have an image of Miami Mornings. This is going to be one of those unique magazines that does appear in the world space that you can of course collect. This one giving you plus five agility while in the water, which again, I really like kind of having that water theme since it is going to be Miami, Florida. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this update. Everything they showed it looks of really high quality. I'm definitely getting increasingly hyped for this. I like how they're giving consistent updates to this mod, as I did kind of mention earlier. You can find links to everything I did show you down below, as well as their blog spot and a bunch of other social media. Check them out, support them, join the team if you have the right skill set. But yeah, as always, again, I thank you for watching. Hopefully, you guys found this video informative, and I hope to see you all next time. Later.